Hello, I am Alejandro Lopez, a application engineer at Entopology. And today I'll be showing you some of the interesting applications that we can provide you with if you're doing reverse engineering. How you can bring your scan data from your 3D scanner from any object to end top platform as a mesh. Then you have lots of possibilities in terms of uh, geometry modification or automated uh, packaging creation, automated molding creation, exporting any of those as a mesh or as a slice, and also going back to CAD uh, using Entop platform. So let's jump to the first application, how we can modify scan geometry. So I brought this uh, mesh of a turbine and the first thing we can do in our workflow is to put it into implicit body format so that um, it's easy to modify this geometry. Then you can shrink it or, or expand it or do something more interesting like shelling it, which can be uh, very good for uh, saving weight. But then if you want to also um, manufacture it with 3D printing, maybe you need some support in the inside or some lattices to make it stiffer and to make it manufacturable. You can add a, a manufacturing hole at the bottom here, as you can see. So you can see uh, all along the cross section, I was able to shell and lattice the, the turbine. And then at the end of the process, I am able to obtain a mesh. And as you can see, this mesh captures the external features perfectly and also the internal lattices. So you can send this object to uh, additive manufacturing. And then you have a more lightweight uh, turbine with the same external shape and very good stiffness properties thanks to the internal lattice. But what is very cool about Entop platform is I was able to use the same workflow to pass from a scan, in this case, a bronze sculpture that is completely uh, solid in the inside to something similar to the previous uh, scenario. I was able at the end of the process to obtain this sculpture with lattices in the inside, shelled and latticed. So I can obtain the same external shape by, by, but uh, saving a lot of material and a lot of weight at the end. So that's what I wanted to show in terms of the first application, how we can modify scan geometry. Let's now jump to how we can create a automated uh, package. So in this example, I'll show you uh, what we can do for this um, uh, ball joint, for example. Uh, so I turn this into implicit body, but I also provided a rotation because this workflow is built in such a manner that the extraction occurs in the Z direction. And then I was able to obtain packaging in both sides. As you can see here, it's perfectly conformal to the shape. You can adjust these values of tolerance or, or draft angle or anything. You can also adjust the size of the box. So if you want one of the boxes to be bigger than the other, you can also do that. And again, I apply the same workflow to a completely different object. So in this case, our uh, bronze sculpture, I did the same. I turned into implicit and rotated it. Then I was able to obtain these packages. Here I'm showing it in mesh format. So you can see that you can export this as a mesh, no problem. All right. so. The other application I want to show you was uh, how we can create molds. So if we jump to this example, I took this Chinese coin here. This is the, the mesh. I also rotated it a little bit to have it perpendicular to the uh, mold direction. And then I was able to obtain these two molds. If I only have a look at one of them, you can see the negative shape of one side and the negative shape of the other side. Then along with the scanned object, I can check for each cross section that my molds can be uh, extracted, no problem. I can apply the same workflow to different shapes. So in this case, uh, I took a branch, 
rotated it, and then obtain again uh, a couple of molds that adapt to the shape of the branch. And I still did one more example here because I think it's very interesting uh, in this case. Maybe a lot of you are doing molds for this kind of uh, uh, object like these uh, teeth. And I rotated it to have it in the proper uh, direction for mold separation. And if I do a quick cross section, you'll be able to see that I also apply a draft angle here at the top, you can see that as an input, I have my draft angle of five degrees, which will allow me for an easy extraction of this complex uh, mold geometry. All right, so let's go to our last application. Let's see how we can go back to CAD using NTOP platform. So remember our uh, ball joint here. Let's say you want to put this into CAD format. In Ento platform, you can use this uh, CAD body from mesh combined with our quadrangulate mesh function and very quickly obtain the CAD file that relates to that uh, object. Then you can export as a step or as a mesh file. And you can do the same, for example, with our turbine. Remember at the beginning of our video, we were uh, modifying this turbine. Another odd thing you can do is uh, put that into CAD format and export it. All right, so those are all the applications that I wanted to cover today. Um, if you have any questions about this or, or you'd like to, to uh, try any of your reverse engineering applications with NTOP, please contact us. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.